Welcome back. I, I hope you learned a lot from that. And I hope you've actually learned how you would manage your funds and finances in this year, 2019. Uh, Olive, what did you learn? I know you conducted that interview. No, there, was, there was so much to be learned. But I saw you in awe, actually, while you were watching it. Yes, I, there was so much to be learned. But if there's anything, you know, that you, you should take away from that, there are two things that I take away from me. Because savings culture, very important. It's not something you wait until you have much money, you know. All of us are on that table that was being shaken. So you need to start saving, even with your little money, to work on those muscles and exercise them. And then your mutual money market funds, which are basically available in all banks. So go to your bank tomorrow and ask for a mutual money market fund for you to be able to save better. Now we're done talking about money. Let's look at music, particularly instruments. Today we have with us someone who is not a first time on the show. It's been a very long time we had him, but he's someone who is making his mark in the industry. He's a saxophonist, he's a worshipper, he's a minister, and today he's joining us on the show. His name is Sax T. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I think first of all, we will say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year for last year. Yeah. Two years ago. It's been such a long time we had you. The last time we had you was when you released your last album. Yeah, moving and on. How did that go? Yeah, it's it's doing very well. It's doing very well in the market. And you know, I'm really getting a lot of, uh, you know, uh, people liking it and all that. And uh, it has taken me to you know, a few places around too. Okay, so refresh our memory. Who is Sax T? Sax T is a saxophonist, is a musician, is a business, uh, someone in the entertainment business, uh, a family man, uh, a music producer, and a businessman. I like that you mentioned that you're someone in the entertainment business. Now, when we think of show business, lots of people focus on the show okay. and forget about the business part. Did you at any point in the course of building your career have such struggles? And how were you able to surmount them? Yes, I, I think I encountered the same. Uh, you know, before now, uh, you know, before going fully into music business, I was with a Guardian. Uh, I was with Guardian for for eight years. So, and before even getting, going into, I mean, uh, with Guardian at all, I, I trained some people and getting into Guardian, I was transferred to Bauchi State where I was for seven years. And coming back, I noticed that things have changed. And I really wanted to, you know, still do something, you know, with the, with the music. So I took that decision, I was gonna, I'm coming back into the industry. And there are a lot of things that were not you know, just right, you know, talking about the business aspect of it. So I put my foot down. I started, you know, getting people to really understand that this is how we should do this thing. We should, we should, we should go, you know, we should just, I mean, put aside, you know, do it, uh, the, the status quo and Today, I, I can say, uh, you know, with confidence that at least I've, I've seen that uh, that change. Uh, I've, I've seen that change, and I don't have any regrets, you know, coming back into the industry. What are some of those things that you found wrong at that okay, time? Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, I came back as a session man, as a session, you know, saxophonist. You know, there's hardly uh, a, a band around then who would not want, you know, sax to take part in their, you know, productions, play sax for this, feature with this band and all that. And you go for a studio session, for example, if the session is not completed that day, you want you on another session, and on another session, maybe at the end of the day, you spend like four sessions on, you know, working with that person. Most producers then will want to pay you just one session fee. Oh, so that understand? means at the end of the day, this money problem is it's in money almost problem. every sector. Yes, so you get paid for just one session and you go to the studio back to back, maybe you end up going for like six sessions and you get paid for just one session. Is this a problem is right. that you noticed at that time? Is this yes. a problem that is still prevalent? I don't in think it's, it, it, it exists anymore. Okay, so now what would you say to a young person who, young or old, who has decided mm -hmm. that they want to pursue their dream as a saxophonist, okay. but also make profit from it? Because there are lessons that you learned along the, your yeah, journey. Yeah. So what would you say to someone to make their journey easier? Well, to make, first of all, you need to be good. It's only when you're good that people will look for you. 
Do you understand what I mean? So okay. if you if you're not good in the craft, nobody's going to want to even look at your direction. So you are good enough, they want you to work with them. And when they work, want you to work with them, you need to let them understand your terms and conditions of, you know, you know, working with them. That puts you, you know, on, 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 on a, it, it, it puts you, you it gives you an edge, yeah. So they know, okay, if I need uh, Olive to do this for me, I know Olive is going to do it, I, she's going to deliver, but I need to pay him X amount. It's not just about money, of course, you know, but you, you make your mark. But if the money is not good, it might not be good enough. Do you understand? But don't put yourself into that, you know, that slavery. At the end of the day, you're not getting much. So instead, you go back and start complaining. So okay. what, what that teaches me is that you teach people how to treat you. It is yes. the value that you place on yourself yeah, yeah. that others will place on yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. But what happened to the term paying dues? People come into an industry and they say, oh, you have to pay your dues. Yeah, you pay for dues. For some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do free shows here and there. Even now, I still do some, some stuff free. Okay. Do you understand? I still do some stuff free. Not because... It, they, they, you know, it, it is put on me like, you know, lord, lord over. I know, okay, I, maybe there's a charity function somewhere and I really want to, you know, give back. I can do, do it without even taking anything. I still do that. So that way that you're doing it, you're giving uh, back, but you still have your respect intact yes. and you don't feel like you're being yeah, humiliated yeah, 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 in yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Interesting. Now, um, as a saxophonist, I'm sure there are other saxophonists that yeah. inspire you. Let's look at your top ten. I know that's a long list. It's a long list, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's. But how I'll many try. saxophonists <clears throat> can you remember? The ones that you say have influenced <clears throat> your craft. Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, Grover Washington Jr. I I love his playing very very much, and um, Joshua Redman. Uh, um, Marsalis, that is Bradford Marsalis, uh, David Starborn, Sanborn, and let, let me bring you back back home. Uh, our own, you know, there's Olu Jazz around. He's a he's a brother, he's a friend. Micah Remu, and uh, Yemi Sachs. You know, I was waiting for that name actually. <laughs> Yemi Sachs, we, we've, we've we've done stuff together, you know, in the past, and. Uh, a couple of others. There's Dave Cos. Dave Cos is also, uh, you know, a very good saxophonist, um, very smooth. And uh, who again would I mention? Okay, you've, you've, you've. I think you've, you've actually. Have, have I done ten? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't Almost. counting, but okay. I think you did. You did Almost. a great job. Okay, okay. You're mentioning a lot of them. But uh, let's look at the saxophone industry as well. It's a thriving industry. We're seeing. Yeah. Younger people, yeah, a lot, coming, lot of young, 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 you know, is it, is it an industry that what, what, what do you make of the industry now? I know that there's so many. I, I know of BJ Sachs, yeah. who's he's doing really well. I know of this little saxophone, but Temi Sachs, <laughs> Temi Sachs, you know, he's, he's about nine, ten, mm -hmm. he's doing really well. I know of a little girl as well, Temi Dyer Sachs. Sack. Sack, what yeah. is it about the saxophone that is drawing lots of young people into the industry, and how would you analyze the industry thus far? Uh, for, uh saxophone is uh. It's one instrument that is very close to the voice. You're not singing, but you're playing the saxophone. Uh, people can, you know, relate to that. It's, it's very powerful. And, you know, check out the design of the saxophone itself. It's, it's appealing. It's, it looks good. Uh, it's, it's fanciful. It's one instrument you, you don't get tired playing. And even at old age, you can still play the saxophone. So, um, and if we have people around doing very well with the saxophone, of course, whatever you do and the children don't like, it means that that's, that craft or, you know, it, it's not good enough. So it's because the, the, the elderly ones, the, 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 uh, those maybe in their teens and all that who are doing very well with the saxophone, that's really attract the children and, they, you know, come to fall in love with it. So tell us about your future projects or your ongoing <coughs> projects, if you have any right now. Yeah, my, my ongoing projects, I have two CDs, that's two albums that I, I intend releasing this, uh, this year. 
You're releasing two albums at once. Yes. They're very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so so tell us about them. I'm releasing two. And again, uh, I, I intend taking my, my, my band I brought this year. Oh, that's that great. Is, you know, most of the traveling I've done you know, in the past, I, I go alone. But this time around, I'm working with a, a promoter that's, that's decided that it's time that, you know, Saxty, instead of you coming here alone and all that, you need to come around with your band. And that it's is happening this year. Cool. All right. We look forward to seeing the amazing work that you're going to be doing. What, what's the name of your albums? Have you decided? No, I've not decided. I've not decided. I've not decided. Okay, yeah. we're, we're, we're expectant. We look forward to seeing all that you're doing. We'll come okay. back to you playing us out of the show. Okay. But that's right after we take Today in History. Okay. So Today in History, um, 3rd of January 2007, a militant group seized $545,000 of... Uh, sent by an Italian firm. In 2007, January 3rd, a Nigerian militant group said it had seized $545,000 sent by an Italian oil firm, Ajib, to obtain the release of four foreign workers kidnapped on December 7th of the previous year, but had kept the men hostage. All right, that's all we have for you today on Today in History. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. You can continue our conversation, you know, suggestions, questions, contributions let us know on instagram at olive mod at esther wanko underscore official and how do people follow you um you can follow me on uh instagram my instagram handle is uh, saxty 65 okay and on facebook um saxty balogun very quickly for those who want to learn how to play the sax on the average how long will it take to learn i can tell you this much uh within a month you can be a good saxophonist or a bad one within a month yeah you, you should be able to make sense with the saxophone within a month so for people who are thinking of learning a new skill learning how to play the instrument this is something that you can explore give yourself a shot at learning something new in 2019 so sax t is going to be playing us out of the show we'll see you again same time tomorrow thank you for joining us sax t take it away <laughs>
To enjoy more of this, our Ogonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.